It's a little chilly. What you put? So why is she so tired? The dishes never end, girl. Can we talk about the fact that I'm wearing pink and purple? Who is she? I don't, I don't know. The girl also sleeps through the night, which is a game changer, yet I'm still tired. I don't know why. I honestly think it's more so that it's winter, like just like seasonal depression vibes, just like not being able to really get out of the house much, gloomy out, and I just feel like it like makes you just like tired and stuff. But I did see this TikTok that reminded me a good point of like, we are animals. And like this is like hibernation and winter time and it's okay to like be more tired and more hungry more feel like more lazy and relax more because like that's like naturally what's supposed to be happening this time of year seasonally we're all gonna be fine once the sun comes back out so i would honestly go outside more but i don't want to walk with her outside for too long because it's like that cold matt takes the car to work so i only like get out of the house like a couple days a week which is like really bad honestly we got out of the house yesterday. We went to the pediatrician and we went to Walgreens. Sorry, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm talking to her, you know? Welcome to the office slash lounge slash guest bedroom slash workout room. Ugh, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I feel like shit. I think the first step of not feeling like crap, saying it out loud, like admitting it. And so obviously like I had to admit it to you guys. And then I even was just texting Matt and I was like, not gonna lie, like I'm not feeling great. I just, I don't know how to describe it except for like unmotivated, I guess. Cause it's just that feeling where you like don't want to do anything. And I mean like anything. I don't want to go on a walk. I don't want to cook. I don't want to like really hang out with someone even. Like I don't want to do anything. It's like, I, it's like all you can do is like doomsday, like sit on your phone because it's like consistent and like i don't even feel like turning on tv like it's just so annoying obviously the first thing my boyfriend recommended was working out and i was actually going to do that today anyway i've been doing melissa wood health at home mwh created by one of my favorite people melissa wood tepperberg i knew when i was pregnant i knew my postpartum journey was going to have to be a super ease into working out with like the best mental mindset about it I guess like I didn't want to just like go balls to the wall I wanted to just be intentional I wanted to feel good I wanted to feel strong and like have that me time that self-care even though the girls are here so anyway if you aren't familiar with Melissa Wood Health the platform has everything I've been subscribed since 2020 it's now 2024 it is just absolutely incredible Melissa created this entire platform for your body and your mind so it's not just workouts workout meditation nutrition and lifestyle content and meditation is really the foundation of her whole practice which is why i love her workout so much i've said this before probably even back in like 2021 that I just, I feel so good when she's leading me in a, in a workout, whether it's like actually like more intense than usual or it's just an actual yoga flow. It takes a lot for me to be able to unwind in just the way she talks throughout her workouts. It makes me feel so good. So it's basically like a blend of yoga and Pilates to create this like beautiful sculpted long lean body, just like beautiful muscle tone. 98% of their members consistently say it's life changing and I'm going on like year for so i feel like you can trust us if you join now you can get your first month free that's a lot of content you guys so sign up for your monthly membership and use code lauren elizabeth it's the only way that i could really work out postpartum everything else is just like too intimidating for me i also need melissa for my mental health <laughs> like i don't know how else to describe it i'm gonna do a workout even though i don't feel like it 
I'm going to force myself to do it because I know I'll feel better after. I'm in a place where the only solution is to force myself to do things that are good for me and to do the next right thing. As much as I want to just like lay on the couch and stare at the ceiling and stare at her, we have to do it. Last thing, and then I'm really, I'm, I promise I'm not avoiding working out. <laughs> One thing that always rings in my head that I've loved following Melissa's journey is she always says, especially with her two young kids, she's like, you have to take like any moment you can get, even if it's like two minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes, like 30 seconds. That is constantly, her voice saying that is constantly in my head when I just do little, little, little things. Even if I do like a downward dog, child's pose, deep breath, my intention is grateful in that moment and to recognize that I'm doing something small for myself and that it does count and that it is something. It's not nothing. And so even if it's only 10 minutes, she makes you feel so accomplished and good about those 10 minutes. So it's really good if you're someone like me that's easing back into things. I obviously don't use the noise canceling feature. I can hear her. I also have my app set to beginner and the collections too. They have pre and postnatal if you're interested in that. Bless you. You guys know I got a pelvic floor physical therapy so they have some good stuff in here too if you're like really postpartum like fresh and you need to rebuild and strengthen because trust me, just do it. I did a 15 minute flow and then it's like 35 degrees in Chicago math is not cold. So I decided to bundle up the girl. She also has like a cover on her stroller plus a blanket under it. Plus obviously she's bundled. So like she's chilling because I just knew that like I needed to get out of the house. I legitimately felt this way last winter when it was just like, I remember telling Matt, I was like, I feel like I'm on house arrest. And it's just because like, I don't have a car during the day and it's like so cold to go places. But when it's like 35, it's like, just get your ass up and go. So we ended up going on a really long walk. I was deciding between, do I want to go sit in like a little cafe or like get like a little like treat or a little lunch? Or do I want to kind of like do a little shopping? We landed on shopping. I'm so out of breath. But like now I feel like I got so much like energy released and honestly, in the cold i actually love walking outside in the cold because it makes me feel like i'm doing like a cold plunge cryotherapy combined with cardio i don't know i got this glowy super gel by sage i've seen it a little bit on tiktok I put it on my hand and it looked really pretty like it didn't look like too much like coverage or anything and it didn't i don't know it just looked like a glow that i don't have i guess i want to try more stuff by then so i got this as my little treat then i got k18 that's kind of like what I went there for because I've just noticed that my hair is extra extra dry So I've been using the way hair gloss which has been the only thing to help me But then when I get out of the shower, I was like I want something to kind of put in afterwards And I get this every once in a while just because it's really expensive, but it's worth it Like it does do wonders to your hair and I just feel like with the weather Like I just need to do like a week of this to get back on track. I got just this tower 28 mist i know everyone's obsessed with it i was really close to buying their new product that's like a barrier cream because i really need a new moisturizer i only have a really really thick barrier cream that i love but i want to moisturize more i don't know i feel like i always use my two clear stem serums that i love but i almost want to put like more moisture into my skin total tangent because that has nothing to do with this literally the best if you have acne i got the tiny one to try to make matt want to use it we also went to the bookstore. My cousin Chloe just got this book. I love going to the bookstore, you guys. Like, love, 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 love. Like, Olive is gonna grow up going to the bookstore because it's just the best. Like, oh my God, Barnes & Noble. Ugh, it closed down here and it's so upsetting. But anyway, I got this one. Anna, a novel by Matthew Blake. A riveting, unsettling crime novel that will keep you turning pages well past your bedtime. Matthew Blake's tension-filled thriller is an elusive and mysterious as sleep itself. It's like the other one that got me 
is joining the ranks of Gillian Finn or Gillian Flynn. Alex Michaelides, Matthew Blake delivers the thriller of the year, dark, twisty, and shocking mystery about a young woman who commits a double murder under the most unlikely of circumstance. A little outside, like a little like more darker crime mystery than I usually do. Usually I kind of just do the like wives killing their husbands, whatever. But this seems like a little more beefed up. And I like getting a paperback book every now and again. And then of course I got the girl this. I got it because it's hot pink. It's about liking yourself. And I'm not gonna lie, I also was like, maybe I should think these things about myself as I read it to her so that she thinks them about herself and I think them about myself. It's like, I like me fast, I like me slow, I like me everywhere I go. Like maybe it'll make me like myself more and the girl know that she has to like herself. I hate buying kids books that don't rhyme. Stop making kids books that don't rhyme. Like what the heck? Or like iambic pentameter, pentameter, whatever it's called. In my Amazon storefront, you can go to recent, I have a recent purchases tab where I basically, every time I place an order, I add to the list. I place a lot of Amazon orders. Since I do also buy so much baby stuff, I instead of putting it in the recent purchases, I'm putting it in the baby folder. Needed some bigger, some bigger pajamas for the girl. She's now in three to six months. She's like still kind of a little bit in her zero to three. I like them cheap, but I like them cute, just like me. Now we're gonna relax for a little bit. We did step one of getting out of the funk, which is admitting you're in one and forcing yourself to do like physical activity. The walk was absolutely perfect yesterday, but I did forget that I got these little stroller gloves. How cute are these? Same brand that I got the little cover. So I just use the Duna during the day because our other stroller is really, really big, but this is easiest for me. Bless you, bless you, bless. Bless. But this is the easiest for me because if you don't know what the Duna is, I feel like this is one of those things where it's like, me, not pregnant, also me, needs a Duna. It basically do that. And it turns into a car seat and a stroller. It's like the only one, I think. But it's absolutely amazing and she loves it. Basically, clip these on, like Velcro. Your hand's actually still gripping the bar. Then I already packed my diaper bag up the other day. One of my mom friends said, like you get so much more confident as your mom and you leave the house that like you don't need like a ginormous diaper bag. And it is so true, I have a big diaper bag that I use for travel. And then this is like a medium size that is good for just an extended outing, I guess I would say, because all I really have in here is a burp rag, an extra onesie, and that's like, I've never even had to use one, I don't think. This is my favorite part of it. It comes with this. It's like a little diaper carrier. And then I literally just have formula and bottles. I'm trying to get her into this. I want her to like be comforted by it. And I just think it's really cute so far. Just does not care. The only hard part about getting out of the house is just getting everything into the car. We're just winging it, girl. We're winging it. Oh, I didn't even say what step two is. My bad. Hold on. Step two of getting out of a funk, or my funk. We're getting out of the house. So Matt left us the car because we share, if you haven't noticed, because we live in a city with public transportation. So I decided, you know what? I saw this TikTok about mom being like, you know, just because you're a stay-at-home mom doesn't mean you actually have to stay at home. You can do all the things you need to do out of your house. You can feed, you can take naps, you can change diapers. Like, I mean, you can't physically take a nap, like your baby can nap in public. Also, like I want her to be used to getting out of the house. I don't want her to like be like, what is this outside world? So for her mental health, no. Nope. For my mental health, clearly, and her social development and life experience, we're stay at home momming out of the home today. Okay. We have to talk this through because I'm already in my head. <laughs> I put on some cute earrings to like, I don't know, like make us feel a little, ooh. Why is it if you're someone with anxiety like me? And this is so weird because I know a lot of moms have anxiety about like leaving the house and stuff. And it's legitimately like has nothing to do with the girl and like momming outside of the house. Like I'm not worried about her at all. I am very blessed and I don't know how that I have a very chill baby as you can tell because like she rarely interrupts me filming watch her like do it now. I'm like this just type of person that like I don't know what to do with myself. Like I can't get myself to do things and like sometimes that's even like social things or like it even used to be like oh like do you want to go out to dinner tonight and I'd be like no 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 like I'd rather stay home. 
And it's like, why? It's just because I know what to expect when staying home and like nothing, ha there's no potential of like anything happening. I don't know. Got in the car and I'm like, okay, let's go to the vintage store. Like it's open. And I'm just like, I, well, I've never been there before. So I'm like, what do I do? I just go? Dare to live? Ugh. We're letting it out. We're calling it how it is. What I decided to get us going, get us on the road, is there is completely out of the way a Starbucks drive through So let's ease into it by going completely by nothing besides Target, which I would love to go into. It's like, I don't need anything at Target. But like, that's like the easiest thing to do as a mom is like go to Target. It just really is. It's like, I don't need anything. Well, I don't, I don't need or want to go to Target. Starbucks, and then we venture out. I'll show you guys what I got from the vintage store. When I get home, on my way here, I was freaking out. Like after I was in the Starbucks drive-thru and everything, there was literally the sound of like, like would not stop and like it was changing. At first I was like, it's really consistent, but then it kind of was switching it up a little bit. So I started freaking out. I'm like, there's an animal in in my car. I even pulled over, like walked around the car. Like I was, I started texting Matt. I was like, I'm going crazy. There's something in the car. Like, I think it has to be like under the hood. Then I start like freaking out even more. I call my mom and I'm like, are you with Hudson? I don't know why I feel like I need to talk to Hudson, but like, what the heck do I do? I just changed the girl's diaper and then we just drove straight to the other side of town i did return a majuri necklace that i got a while ago so i call my best friend after calling my mom freaking out like full body chills actually freaking out thinking an animal's gonna jump at me and she's like i can't she's like turn off your windshield wipers i can't like hear anything besides them and i turn it off and then the sound goes away it was literally like I keep looking at her thinking like something's wrong. I told my mom, this is either when we look back and say that's when the schizophrenia started or there's an animal in my car. Turns out it was neither. And it was just the windshield wipers. So me and Kathleen were absolutely cackling on the phone. She was like, you are absolutely moronic. You're a psychopath. She's like, you're so dumb. And that was embarrassing. We did it. We got out of the house. Honestly, I'd probably stay out longer, but it's like pouring rain. I feel like we've accomplished enough for one day. Okay. BRB. I picked up Pop Belly and I ate and she looked a little interested for the third day in a row. We're gonna try banana. Wash, 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 wash. So I don't know if I plan to buy baby food, make baby food, and I'm not really gonna be like making her eat. Obviously not even for nutritional purposes right now, just to kind of test things out. But I was so excited because I knew after four months, I wanted to start introducing her to stuff. So I bought a little Gerber. And honestly, she doesn't love it. And I'm starting with purees because I don't particularly want to do baby weaning right off the bat. Like I kind of want to do a combination of some sort just because like the idea of choking obviously freaks me out, them choking. Fun fact that I learned, they can choke on purees. So just be careful. I'll, I'll imitate your face for them. Oh, that's a smile. Is that kind of yummy? Isn't it wild that we have to like teach them how to eat? You're doing it all by yourself. Okay, we're doing a quick like power tidy up. It's almost to relaxing time of the day. We gotta tidy up. Getting tired. I just unboxed these oak essentials. So we'll bring those downstairs. I like to do like a downstairs pile because we have diapers and more body products. Ooh, a booty band. Oh my God, I was literally gonna show you guys. I have this in black. One of these like cases from Amazon that's like clear in the front. I have it in my purse right now in a smaller size and I think I wanna order more. These are like the best. Thank you, Kopari. And I'll show you guys what I got vintage shopping. This is what I got. Look how cute the Lauren Elizabeth looks even when there's like nothing in the hole. I just have it kind of like turned. As like a little accent. Like I don't like vintage shopping for clothes because like I literally wear the same thing every day. I'm not like creative like that. I love it for home decor. Matt always calls these my investments because I'm like, it's an investment piece. Like I'm gonna have it forever. The nice decor things you have, even if you like are kind of over them, I always put them in storage and then you find them in like a couple years and you're like, oh wait, no, I love this. I got this little like paper mache cute little black bolt, kind of like similar vibe to some of this stuff. And then I went 
totally rogue, but I really don't have like any books. And I was just staring at this and I was just feeling like I just thought there was a cat in my car. <laughs> Wanted to treat myself and I did because I got two crazy things. I was just gonna get the bowl. How freaking cool is this? It says Leonardo da Vinci. It's gold and nude. And then it says Leonardo da Vinci on the side again. And like, if you had a big coffee table, this would be such a perfect book to just like leave open. I mean, hello, how sick is that? You just like leave it open as like an open face concept for decor. I love, I just don't have a big enough space. I mean, it's sick though. Like I'm obviously now gonna have this forever. I love, love, love getting vintage books. Looks good everywhere. Like what? I'm so proud of myself. I've been eyeing this on Etsy, so I'll link it down below. But I felt special that I found one in real life. You went and you found it, like you're a curator. No fucking idea where I'm gonna put it. Could look cool in the office eventually once we start bringing that together. The Petite African Stool. How sick is that? And it's like nice and sturdy, but the thing is, it's a very odd size. It's gonna be the exact height in my bookshelf, like it's way too big to put on the bookshelf. It could go on a table, but it's also kind of odd. I mean, I guess that is a stool on a table, but for me, I'm just kind of like, why is there a stool on the table? But it's like so tiny on the floor. But I do wanna play more with like the levels in the house. Everything is kind of on the same playing board. I wanna also get like a new kind of, I wanna do this wall. Here, I'll show you. This wall, this wall over here. Sorry, I'm like turned around in the camera. What I really wanna find vintage shopping is like an antique sideboard that is kind of basically that size over there. And then I kind of wanna do like a big art piece or family pictures over there. But like this would even be so cool, like next on the floor where our current Christmas tree is waiting to be taken to storage. Um, next to like the olive tree, like that. Pair it with another table, pair it with the ottoman, do it next to the chair. Like it's gonna look good anywhere. I just don't know where I'm particularly gonna put it yet. Investments! Ah! This is how I put things downstairs that are not fragile. These bookshelves have a long way to go, but gotta mix them up. Fun fact, these are a bunch of samples from the home decor line that obviously I made a million tweaks to to get us the real deal, but kinda wanna use them. Now I almost like this side better than that side. Mood booster, mood boosting. I mean, honestly, this looks a lot better than it did before, but I still don't like love it. It's very barren and I mean, we're just using what we have. And then we need to figure out, obviously still this situation. And then I'm coming. This is, I love this. It's a play mat and it's so chic. Here I come. Ooh, ooh, what's wrong? You wanna play? You wanna play? Then I just stare at the bookshelves for a really long time to figure out what they need. And I already know something I want to change immediately. Okay, watch mommy. Ready? A five, a six, a five, six, seven, eight. Go mommy, go mommy, go mommy. Mommy needs to relax. Yeah. I'm gonna get ready real quick with no sound because I think when I put it here, the sound doesn't work and I haven't figured out a solution yet.
hopefully I decided to get ready today. Uh, another part of getting out of a funk, I was like, you know what, what if I just like wore jeans? What if I just wore jeans? Go to lunch with my friend since we have a babysitter today, AKA. <laughs> Yeah, AKA your grandma. So I was like, I guess I should put on a little bit of makeup. So honestly it works. Maybe I should do this more often, but I'll talk to you guys in a second because the girl. Final look, I'm still figuring out obviously this room, but this is gonna be my new like mirror pick spot and you won't be able to see like the desk part over there. Um, it'll be more kind of like this. I just took some Instagram pictures and it actually looked pretty good But I actually really like these jeans because of the dark wash I don't love the slit on the side I feel like I would like it more if I was like in a higher maybe like darker boot, but they are really really cute I like them a lot their girlfriend and then I got a below the belt because that's what I really wanted as like a fall winter accessory and then this is Aritzia TNA it's so soft and it's like a nice bone color then these are heaven mayhem and then obviously all my necklaces that are linked in my like to know it and Jenny Kane sweater because I didn't really feel I wanted to wear short sleeves because I like it hot like during the day but these jeans are pretty cute but yeah the makeup turned out really good that's not how I do my makeup at night it's just very close and very similar to it so I definitely recommend like actually getting ready for the day even though I probably wouldn't have if I wasn't gonna see my friend for lunch and force myself to stay out of the house while all its grandparents are here I'm going to physical therapy then I'm gonna go work from like a cafe instead of coming back home and working so I'm gonna pack all my computer stuff headphones etc pack some stuff for FedEx because I have to run errands and then meet my girlfriend for lunch and then I have a zoom meeting so I have to figure out like what time to do lunch and what time to do that but either way we're staying out of the house and we're feeling better and I'm so excited to like actually do this room uh, Lulu and Georgia reached out to me so they're my absolute favorite I actually already ordered the Ottoman for right there from them and they're gonna send me a few more pieces so while I'm working at the cafe I'm going to pick that out for sure better I mean obviously like that's a disaster but if we just do something with the books and just like clean up the junk it'll actually be fine okay I'm gonna edit you know the the drill stop one edit it start another and i'll see you next week